Peter Morgan, the showrunner of The Crown, has dramatized the British royal family for a significant portion of his career. Welcome viewers to my channel, please subscribe, like my video and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next update. Morgan also wrote the 2006 film The Queen and the 2013 play The Audience, both of which are based on the late Queen Elizabeth II and premiered in 2013. The Crown ended its six-season run in December. Morgan revealed to The Hollywood Reporter that the production of The Crown, which debuted in 2016, was both more intense and challenging than I anticipated. I also believe that the reason I had the energy and stamina to complete everything I did was because the material was so enjoyable to write and to work on. Morgan acknowledged that continuing from the 2005 wedding of then Prince Charles and Camilla Parker Bowles, where the crown left off, feels premature, but he did not rule out revisiting the royal family in the future. Morgan stated, I don't think I'm done with the subject. I might figure out a different way to approach it. Morgan has endured a lot of criticism, including rumors about how certain members of the royal family feel about the dramatization of their lives. The show The Crown is up for 18 Emmys at the awards ceremony next month. While the show has received its fair share of praise, Morgan has also been subjected to a lot of criticism. However, Morgan revealed to The Hollywood Reporter that he does not place much value on the buzz. He stated, I've heard that they love it, that they hate it, I've heard everything. I've made the decision that I won't believe anything I hear until I hear it directly from a member of the royal family. In light of this, the royal family has spoken about the Netflix hit in the following way. According to royal biographer Robert Hardman, Prince William and Kate Middleton did not watch The Crown, as reported by People previously. In Hardman's new book, The Making of a King, according to King Charles III and the Modern Monarchy, a Prince William confidant said that Prince William rolls his eyes when people say that it's just drama. However, he will not complain about it to increase its visibility. He dislikes the idea of constantly being perceived as complaining. On the Graham Norton show, Olivia Coleman, who portrayed Queen Elizabeth in seasons three and four, acknowledged that it did not go very well when she asked Prince William if he had watched The Crown at a Buckingham Palace reception. She added, his answer was a firm, no. However, he was incredibly charming and lovely. In an interview in 2021, he told James Corden that Prince Harry had seen The Crown before. During that time, Prince Harry stated, they don't pretend to be news. It is not true. However, it is only somewhat accurate. It's clear that it's not entirely accurate. He went on to say that the show gives you a rough idea about what that lifestyle, the pressures of putting duty and service above family and everything else, what can come from that, and that I'm way more comfortable with the crown than I am seeing the stories written about my family, my wife, or myself. That is unquestionably fiction, interpret as you please. But because you're supposed to be news, this is being reported as fact. That really irritates me. Later, in 2023, Prince Harry, then 39, made an appearance on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. He said, yes, I have actually watched The Crown. When asked if he did any, fact-checking, while watching, the Duke of Sussex said, yes, I do, actually. Which, incidentally, is yet another reason why it is so crucial that history is correct.